get this for the month of May, Denver has gotten more rain than both Seattle and Portland combined. That mind boggling stat from the National Weather Service had us thinking one thing. Where does all that water go? More specifically, where is all the water going on that new section of Central 70, the part that is no longer high above the ground on a viaduct? Our Marshall Zellinger satisfies our curiosity. It's rained a lot this weekend, but it's no 100 year storm, which is what the lowered section of Central 70 is supposed to be able to withstand. It's been a soggy weekend for us all. There's been a lot of disrupted barbecues, but as far as you know, traffic operations down on the, the new lowered section of I-70, um, it was business as usual. CDOT has a system to keep the underground section of I-70 from going underwater, a system that goes beyond the drains in the roadway. And then we pump it to a very large holding tank. To the north of I-70 at York is a large circle. That's the pump station. It brings the water up to a detention pond. From here, the water will go through what's known as a micro pool to help treat the water, get the solid stuff out, before it drains here at the South Platte near the Denver Coliseum. That's just one of the features of the lowered section of I-70. There's also those nine large fans. Those will activate depending on the air quality in the tunnel. They will turn on if there is a very long duration where cars are stalled and idling underneath, um, we would turn one or two fans on. The other reason they are there is in the very unlikely event of a fire. Um, we then want to be able to blow smoke in one direction and create a safe space for people to escape in the opposite direction. If you're not looking down at the drains, perhaps up at the fans, and if you're out of the tunnel, you've got nothing to look at except for what's happening to the skeleton of the viaduct that we're no longer driving on. And Chuck wanted to know what happens with all the old concrete. Well, Chuck, it's taken to a site, I'm told off of Quebec Street, where it is then recycled into the roadbed for the new part of Central 70. So what's old is new, literally. My goodness, you're like the encyclopedia of things we didn't even know we wanted to know today, Marshall. I've been called worse. <laughs> it's true. I like the sweater, too, by the way. It fits the encyclopedia theme. Marshall Zellinger, thank you.